What is up, people? How's it going? This is Bharat, and welcome back to yet another video. So we have been doing the Kiwi MD Open CV series. So I'm going to be continuing along on that journey. In this one, I'm going to be teaching you guys or showing you guys how you can use your or create your own face blurring application using the Har Cascade classifier that comes as part of the Open CV two, and we're going to be using that inside our Kiwi MD application and seeing how they work out together. So for this one to work out, you should have actually. already watched my smile uh, finder application or the face finder application that we have already done we're going to be uh, continuing from there pretty much and i will be showing you guys how the gaussian blur works on the face so that's what you're going to be finding out so let's get this video started straight away are you a student or a working professional who's looking for a great career in software development check out anacademy.com/course/career as a software developer and you'll be taken to this link all you need to do is just check out all the upcoming live classes that are being taken by top educators in the industry they will walk you through their in own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like hr and industry leaders of top companies where they will answer all of the questions that are raised by you In live episodes you get an opportunity to ask tech hrs about top 20 interview questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and mnc what's the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great products not only this you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages cloud computing blockchain and crypto tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics one of india's leading digital marketing experts ujwal kumar sen will be coming live on a weekly basis to teach you all digital marketing get to understand the technical aspects in a fun and easy way you'll find live projects and interactive episodes that you do not find that often in youtube so this is going to be a very very useful course for everybody who wants to start with digital marketing You do not need to shell out a lot of money to get the subscription. You will need to spend nine 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 per year or eighty three rupees per month. Or if you choose to use my promo code, which is Coder Monk, you will get ten percent off the subscription and just spend only seventy five bucks per month. All the links that are discussed here are in the description below. Check them out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as well. All right, so this is where we have stopped in the previous uh, video, or I would say, I should say, the hard casket frontal face default video, wherein we just detected the smile and we just tried to draw things around it. And you guys asked me like, what exactly is the use case of that? Like, where exactly can you use this? And one of the important places where you can use it is to create your own face blur. Uh, meaning that you can either mask your face you can do something like anonymize your face and there's also a lot of additional uh, applications wherein you can detect only the faces that you already know and post that you can blur all the things out of uh, of the video and this one is going to be running on real time meaning that it's going to pick out faces on real time video so you must have a better cpu or processor or else this will just lag and lag and you will not be able to do it all right so let's get moving on and this is going to be the base code i'll just give a brief explanation as to what is it really happening and post that we will be uh, trying to detect faces and we are we are already detecting faces just we will try to uh, do something called as a gaussian blur on top of the face so first thing what is happening is that you're just doing a simple md application you're building the md md application and adding first the image the image is going to be uh, a texture in the format of a texture continuously getting updated and the texture is getting updated through the help of uh, the video capture it's capturing the video from my device which is for the example the uh, video camera on my laptop and from that it is picking up the video and it is trying to continuously update the image and we are going to be applying our har cascade classifier on every single texture so that's what is happening if you see here this is actually using the uh, schedule interval running every 33 uh, 30 seconds i mean it's running 33 frames per second and that's what is exactly happening here inside the load video we have the capture read wherein it's capturing the video feed and it is trying to convert it into a frame and the frame is then going for the face cascade or the face facade which is actually part of the cascade classifier so once the cascade classifier runs on our uh, in the the texture which is single frame it detects where the faces are and it is try to draw, just draw a simple rectangle around it so this was the thing that we did in the previous video when it came to this smile finder so you're going to be using the same item again here and we're just going to leave everything right here and we're going to be adding just three or four more lines just to detect or find out uh, how we can draw a gaussian blur around a rectangular space all right so first thing was we'll do is we'll just understand the har cascade cascade classifier is already available and it's just running the cascade classifier post that i'm just going to just uh, adjust my Uh, the the values when it comes to the min distance and my multi scale detection uh, parameter so this is just to help me detect the face properly you can 
try your own what works for you uh, i checked out right now that works pretty much around the range of 1 to 2 that it works pretty much fine to detect faces so i've just given this as 1.1 now this one will definitely draw a face and will draw around it on a gray scale so we just converted this into a gray scale um, image and that is what we are trying to do things on so i'm just going to be adding my first one which is to detect the faces first so i'll just call it as blur face and i'll just say gray scale of i'm just starting from the y till y plus h i'm just taking all the pixels from that and x till x plus w so meaning that i'm just taking all the images from all the all the pixels from that and assigning it to a variable called as blur face post that i'm just going to be applying my next algorithm which is the cv2 dot gaussian blur which i told in the start of this one so just gaussian blur is pretty much the only algorithm that you need wherein it will apply a blur algorithm on it and it will you can control the parameters based on that so the first thing is going to be the uh, the blur face which is what we picked out in the frame from the previous one and we're just going to be adding the next one it's going to be 23 comma 23 followed by that you're going to be adding 30 which is going to be the base one for detecting the uh, which is going to be applying it as much as possible so it's going to be making sure to apply it on the edges as well and this is the parameter that you need to know so just a quick look inside the uh, the Gaussian blur algorithm and you'll find that it's pretty much what is required it says that uh, first thing it requires is for sure the k size and that's going to be the input image we already passed that and the k size is going to be the Gaussian kernel size meaning that the width and the height up to which it should pass the uh, it should it should apply the Gaussian blur followed by that you also are passing the required mandatory parameter which is the sigma x and the sigma x as, as it is given here is the standard deviation x direction this is completely um, base required that that is required and once you have passed all the three required parameters we are pretty much done here so what else you can do here is to apply this onto the, our grayscale as well so we we'll just say y y is to win from starting from y plus blur face dot shape of zero meaning that we're just saying from the y's from the y starting starting of this y till y of the blur face take those items only and it's just taking that pixels followed by x is to x plus blur face dot shape of one so we're just taking the height and width basically uh, this is swapped in the uh, algorithm so just have to know that and just replacing this entire thing that's just the face alone with the blur face that we just did so we're just taking from everything starting from the y to y plus h and instead of just doing the y plus h we're just taking the blur face uh, variables shape and from that you're detecting where the height is and similarly with the higher width we are doing that and we're replacing the entire thing with a blur face so technically if you run this right now it should work and we should be getting a blur face so let's try it out right away if you want you can keep this if you don't want you can remove this i'll still keep it for this information purpose and we'll just run this to see how exactly this is panning out all right so pretty much this is working fine as you can see it is detecting my face and I'm using the my, my laptop camera right here. It is detecting my face and it's also applying the Gaussian blur on it. Let's try to like see if it is work. See, it's, it's not detecting the face now because I'm just covering it by half and it's actually working pretty fine. And as you see, it's also trying to detect all random noises around as well. And this will definitely happen and there's a possibility that this will happen. But if you go for better algorithms like DNN and RNN, you will have much more deep learning applied onto your face algorithm and you have much better control over it so this is going to be the base of applying gaussian blurs and actually you can try out this on your application as well there's a lot and lot of uh, use cases with gaussian blur application and face detection application and hopefully that you guys did learn something new from here so i'm going to stop this video right here and hopefully this is going to be the end of this video make sure to check out the lot of different videos that you have done on kiwi md and open cv series um, so it's going to be very very useful for everybody starting with open cv with kiwi md so you can have a fun way of learning it as well i'm going to be coming out with a bunch of more videos on open cv target as much complex uh, applications as possible as easily so that you guys can pick things up and that's pretty much it so if you guys like this video do not forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one i got a lot more videos coming out related to kvmd and opencv i'll see you guys all over there until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day